back. So I hope you guys are having another wonderful morning. Uh, today is Friday, right? Is that Friday this morning? Okay, yes. Um, my time is all messed up lately. Anyway, so happy Fridays to you guys. So this morning I'm going to make two drinks. I'm going to make a regular, kind of like traditional macchiato versus I'm going to make like trying to attempt to make the Starbucks macchiato because so whenever I order macchiato from Starbucks, so pretty much they give you like like a lot of milk, like you know, very thick milk, like a steamy foam milk, and then they put the espresso on the top. But the real macchiata, I know some of you out there the, from Italy, I think the macchiata means uh, it's called mark, okay, just marking it, where they kind of like steamed milk, and not even steamed milk, a little foam on the top. So, and so that's what we're gonna do. So I'm gonna try to make two drinks. Uh, I'm gonna make kind of like traditional size for the macchiata. And then I'm gonna, I'm gonna do the double shot with, uh, actually, you know what? I'm thinking, hold on a second, because I don't wanna make two, you know what, let's do, uh, let's do two shots, okay, let's do that. Uh, before that, I'm gonna steam the milk first because I wanna have freshest espresso as possible. So, hold on here, get my cup. So what I'm going to do is my first, I'm going to steam the milk. Hold on. So if you guys are interested to learn how to steam the milk, I have a video on that as well. Make sure to check it out. Again, it just has to just play with the steam one, but, and then I'm using whole milk as well. So let's do that first right now. I'm going to start the steam milk first. By the way, if you are new to the channel, uh, welcome to the community. Okay. So with this, again, if you are new to the Brista Express, the steaming is not the best, but you know what? But it's not the worst either, so. So with, it, uh, with this drink, you have to introduce a lot of air, okay? Okay, I'm just gonna. So for this, I'm going to kind of like slightly above the surface. So introduce air right now, quite a bit. Because you want to create that, the form. Okay. And then after that, I'm going to just uh, submerge it and uh, heat up the milk here. Okay, so now we are good to go. I'm just... At this point, we just have to wait, okay? We just have to wait. Okay, so by the way, so I was planning on unboxing that big box, has a fragile on it. I was planning on doing it, but you know what? Let, let's do that tomorrow morning, okay? Because, because I do wanna spend some time with that package tomorrow morning. So, so, so that's what we're gonna do tomorrow morning. But meantime, we're gonna do some another coffee recipe this morning. Actually, macchiata is one of my favorite. I know people love that caramel macchiata from Starbucks, but. Okay. So milk is getting close. So we start with about half cup of milk. Now we are expanded quite a bit. Okay, let me show you. So now milk is nice and hot. Here we go. So now we start with a half. Now we are milk is almost to the top. So, so milk is ready. And we are going to prepare the espresso right now. Okay. Set this thing to the side. So we are going to work pretty fast here. Okay. I'm gonna start with a regular macchiata from Starbucks. I'm just gonna, I got my 18 gram of beans from Espresso Vivazzi. So far they are pretty good so far. I'm really enjoying this. Okay. Okay.
But meantime, I'm gonna put the milk in here, okay? For this shot, I'm not gonna worry about waiting my wait my shots because it's gonna be milk and espresso. So as long as I got a decent espresso, I'm fine with it. So I'm using uh, beans from espresso vivace. I'm gonna put the link down below. Okay, <clears throat> I'm just gonna flush out for a sec. Okay. So let's make, so this is a Starbucks. You know what, we are going to make a little different then, okay? I'm gonna start, I'm gonna modify slightly. <clears throat> what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put the underneath like this. Okay. Okay, and then I'm gonna spoon like that and then you'll see, okay? It's gonna be pretty uh, fun to watch. Instead of the directly going down, It uh, looks pretty pretty like this. Looks very, very cool. Okay. So that's kind of like, <clears throat> excuse me, kind of like my modified version of my uh, macchiata, kind of like Starbucks macchiata, okay. That looks very pretty fun as well, okay. So, again, just, just pretty, okay. Just has a beautiful form in it. I mean, if you guys like, you know, play with a different recipe, this I highly recommend it. Play with that. I think they have a different name for that, okay? I think if you go to Starbucks, if you order like under toe, I think that's the one, okay? They have like specialty drinks, kind of like, it's kind of like off the menu. For this, I mean, if you want to have something sweet, I'm going to try this one as is. Okay, if you guys like just the simple, milky, uh, really good espresso, this is fantastic. If not, have some caramel here, maybe a couple, maybe two pumps, okay, not too much. By the way, I'm using my rice spoon, so anyway, it's too big. Just mix it. This is caramel macchiato at best. Wow. Fantastic. Okay, so now let's make the, the real thing, okay? I'm going to give it to my wife here. I know she likes my coffee. Okay. That is, people ask me, how many cups do you drink every morning? I usually, I usually drink about maybe one or two, okay? One or two at the most. Other time, okay, some people ask me, what do you do with your leftover milk? Uh, I usually set aside and then I make like ice latte, okay? So I, I do not, I don't like to waste food. So, I mean, any food, any drinks or, okay. By the way, so I've been using this filter from China. Works pretty good, okay, works pretty good. Okay, so now we are going to make Kind of like more traditional macchiata. So again, the macchiata means marked. So we're gonna pull the shots. Okay, let's pull great shots here. I got another 18 gram here. Okay. Here we go. Just 
make sure I got all the beans out. Okay. So, so far, again, I mean, using Brista Express, pretty much you can do all your coffee recipes. So, is that better than my niche grinder, the built-in grinder? Maybe not, but I mean, most of us, you may not need it. Okay. All right, so we're gonna do so uh, right now we are going to do just regular macchiato, okay? Kind of traditional macchiato. So I'm going to pull the shot. I'm going to uh, pull about maybe like between 45 and 50 gram shot here. I'm going to, so comes to time. So when do you time your shot? You got a couple of different ways to time it. You can, so you can, whenever you start the press button, you can start time the shot or whenever you see the first drop. So you know what, let's do today. Let's pull the shot when I detect first drop. Okay, so here we go. So I'm looking for, again, around 45 gram, 40, 48 gram. That's kind of a one to two ratio there. I like that. I got 46 gram and 24, 25 seconds in. Man, look at how beautiful this shot is. Absolutely beautiful. I just love it. Okay. And and this point, you know what? I'm just gonna have it's a little messy there, so I'm just gonna have a little cleaner. You see the beautiful crema on the top. So at this point, with the macchiato, just simply kind of marking it like so. Okay. Just mark it. Pretty much it. So this is like people drink in like Italy or European country, just mark it on the top of it. Okay, you know what? Let's try this, okay? Let's try. I'm gonna mix with beautiful espresso. Man, look at this, how creamy this is. Okay, let's try. Actually, I never had, I never tried with it this way before, so I'm really excited to try this. Cheers. Simmer's great. Okay, if you guys like espresso, very strong, robust flavor, just a tiny bit of milk on the, those steam, those uh, steam on the top there, those foam on the top. So it's kind of like give you that really, what's the word I'm looking for? Very nutty and chocolatey flavor. It's not bad, okay? I mean, this is, this is pretty good. So definitely, I, I want you guys definitely try it at home. Really easy. But personally, I don't think I'm going to drink this every morning. But once in a while with my friends, it's really good. But I guess personally, I, I prefer the milk-based drink. I mean, like, again, like shot of, a couple shot of uh, caramel syrup on it. That's really delicious as well. So, I mean, if you guys want to try the real deal, uh, make sure you pull the good espresso shots. Just a couple dollars of foam on the top. It's, they're fantastic. Fantastic. Anyway, so that's, so this is, Kind of like traditional way to drink macchiato because again i mean if you go to starbucks whenever you order macchiato or latte they looks about the same because you cannot tell the difference whenever i order even latte or cappuccino at coffee shops i mean it looks the all same to me so but at home at least you guys are going to try different recipe you know properly so make sure you have fun with it uh, any questions
Linda asks, mm -hmm. so I want to dial in new decaf using third wave water. Okay. But I think I need to wait for the hand grinder. She bought the mill right. Okay, so Linda, okay, so Rebel Linda. The grinder might be a challenge, or could she do it with the Rebel grinder? Uh, Linda, you can use any grinder for that, okay? You can, you can use just a, yeah, Bravo grinder just works just fine, okay? You don't have to use a third wave grind, not, not, not the third wave grind, third wave water. But just make sure, okay, with the third wave water, if I were you, Linda, try to pour over first, pour over method, with your V60 you have. Oh, yes, I think, I think I remember. You, you need a hand grinder for your V60, okay? Do not use your... V60 with your uh, uh, built-in grinder. It's not gonna work. I tried it. It's no, it's failed me miserably. So yes, definitely wait for your hand grinder for your uh, uh, pour-over method. Okay. Um, Jeff says, do you think that the study shows that from? So Jeff is asking question here. Okay. No, it's no. just more of a comment. For okay. Those who drank or more Italian style espressos had a 28% decrease in all-cause mortality. Okay, so Jeff made a comment about that if you drink four or more uh, Italian style coffee drinks, 25% what, less death? 28% uh, decrease in all-cause of mortality. 20% decrease in, 28% decrease in all-cause of death. Man, that's, that's an interesting study there. But again, the Italian style drink, the European style versus us in the United States are completely different because their double shot is about 13 gram. Uh, they use about 13 to 14 gram for their double espresso. And then for us in this country, goodness, we have some, some of you want like triple baskets, like 21, 22 gram, okay? And even 23 gram baskets. But I mean, mostly like 18 gram. I mean, this is an 18 gram shot. Okay, so this, so this is more like. Okay, so this one. So I yield about what 13. If I do the European style, 13 gram in like 26 gram out. So that's double shot, 26 gram. So this is about 46 gram. So technically, this is like four shots based on their center. So yeah, I mean, we drink a lot of coffee in this country. It's so completely different. So I'm not a big fan of, yeah, I'm not a big fan of 18 gram shots, okay? 18 to like 19 gram basket uh, uh, espresso, but I like around between 17 is good. With my Rancho Leo, I use 14 gram on that one. I have uh, two baskets, so you have 14 gram and 18 gram basket, but I think I prefer the 14 gram as well. So I guess it all depends on your taste, but yeah, definitely try both. Um, <clears throat> Let's see here. Can you use any milk, right? Uh, someone asked me, yes, you can use any milk. Uh, one of my favorite is the oat milk. I really enjoy oat milk on my latte, um, Brista Express. Uh, if you are curious about it, check out my older video. Just go to my channel and just search for oat milk. You, you can find my videos there. Uh, yeah, oat milk is fantastic for, yeah, I mean, really good. Make sure go with the Brista oat milk, okay? Not the regular oat milk, Brista oat. Has a lot more fat content, so you're going to have a better result. Um, can Hoon use the China basket in a Breville pour filter? Okay, so uh, I've been using, last couple of days, I've been using the filter basket from China, okay? And, hold on, let me show you with that. I mean, this basket, I'm pretty impressed so far. Only cost me 10 bucks with the shift. So, as you can see from there, it's more, it's kind of like more like the <clears throat> commercial style pour -fil no, filter basket rather than, you know, let me, hopefully I can show you guys one more time here. So this is the, my original filter basket from Bravo. So like, as you can see, it's more like taper off, like here, okay? Kind of like roundish taper, but with basket from China, let me take it out here. It's not, it's more kind of like, kind of squarish, 
looks completely, I mean, you, you can see from here, it's completely different, okay? Not the same. So I feel like I can uh, get a better tamping pressure. I think it seems a lot more evenly. So uh, I think I have the link on that as well. Uh, so I'm gonna put the link down below. I, mean, I, I got that one from AliExpress. So I mean, if you don't mind waiting for like two, three weeks, definitely give, it, uh, give him a shot. So yeah, it's, it's not bad, okay? It's not bad. Definitely better with my bottomless pori filter too, so. Okay, so just like what I did, uh, make sure introduce air maybe like 10 to 15 seconds. So with a latte, I like to introduce air about maybe like five to 10 seconds, okay? Not too long. And then with cappuccino, maybe 15 to 20. Wait, uh, 10 to 15 seconds. So that's something you have to practice with because whenever I put the milk in it, I usually put about two to the half, okay? So whenever you start steam it, or you are using the latte, you want to expand about that much of foam and then stop introducing air. So maybe, you know what, maybe I should do the video on that, maybe tomorrow morning or so, next couple of days. Because it's kind of hard to explain to you, but if I show you a lot easier. So maybe I'm going to put some video on it this morning. Linda asked, do you have a video on preparing water and using meters for testing water? Okay, so let's... Okay, so uh, Linda asked me about uh, third wave water. Oh, you don't have to do anything, okay? Just get a distilled water, get the one pouch, just mix it, you are ready to go. That's it, you don't have to, since you are getting the distilled water, yeah, you don't have to worry about it. You just get the distilled water and one pouch, you are good to go, okay? You don't have to use TDS meter either. Okay, so people are asking me about the. So this is Akaya scale from Akaya. It's called Lunar. Uh, you can get it from kind of like Sierra Coffee Girl has one. And uh, you can get a, you can, I don't think you can get it from Amazon, but they're a fantastic scale. Expensive, okay? 230 bucks or so. But, and I think I have a review on that as well on my channel. But, I mean, if you are really like, if your coffee is your hobby, it's definitely worth getting. I mean, but if your coffee is not your hobby, you, will, you just want to make good coffee in the morning. So this is the, another scale from Amazon. It's called G Dealer Scale, 15 bucks. Great scale. And get yourself a kitchen timer. Okay, good match as well. So um, it's, all, it's all about your budget. You know, I mean, don't make things complicated. Making coffee should be easy and simple. Uh, L.L. Kure asked me, is the oat milk last longer than? Yes, yes it does. Because my cow's milk, goodness, after what, seven days, you go sour? But oat milk seems, seems to me last a lot longer, so. I mean, if, you, I mean if, you, if you're not a good latte drinker, you know, if you're using maybe once a week or so, I definitely stick with like plant-based milk, okay? Especially like, has, make sure it has breast on it and it should be last for weeks. JC asked me what got whom into coffee. JC asked me what I got into coffee. Goodness, I got into coffee. I always enjoy coffee, but ever since my buddy bought a Rancheria Serbia years ago, at, at that moment, you know what? He made me a coffee way back when, and they, wow, this is really good. So ever since then, I got into coffee. So yeah, it's been a long time coming. I'm definitely a tea drinker, so I like tea. So my buddy made me a coffee, tastes like really nice black tea at that time. Okay, so that's what I want. So a viewer says, I want to dial in fresh beans from a local roaster. Mm -hmm. I'm going for 18 grams in and 36 out. The shot is sour, even though I go very fine and already choke. I also tried higher dosing, but no luck. Any tips? Oh, goodness. So one of our viewers asked me, what's the name of the person? S. Roca. S. Roca, S. Roca asked me about uh, fresh, you know what, uh, give me a favor, okay, message me on my Instagram page, okay, and then uh, 
maybe I can have you on my Instagram live and you can show us what you are doing maybe hopefully we can correct your you know whatever we are doing maybe we can figure out together because it is really hard to help you especially grinder size grinder settings are different from machine to machine okay my machine is not the same as your machine even though same machine but grinder is not the same so plus the beans as well with the moisture in the air is all all is all varies so it's really hard to tell just make sure message me on Instagram. Um, what is the difference in the taste between? So what is the difference in taste in, in between? The low two instances, the macchiato versus macchiato. Okay, mach okay, so so macchiato, the first one was a lot more milk. Okay, so it's a lot more mellow and very creamy. So this one, just a espresso with double double shot with kind of like. Kind of marking it with steam milk you know those foam so really strong okay but if you like espresso quite tasty really nice um. okay we got some more i think i'm gonna take a few more questions and then we're gonna call it a day okay, okay. Settings on the side and the inner grinder settings. When do I use which setting and when? Okay, someone asked me about uh, the grinder setting from inside, uh, from the outside, the outer, and the inner burr. So here's a rule of thumb. Okay, so here's what I, what I could do. If I'm run out of sp uh, if I run out of grinder setting here to the side, let's say if I'm at one, I'm still not getting enough the pressure and you know. And then I switch the inside, take the inner bar out and adjust from there. Okay, because if you if you just bought this recently, you can actually change the inner bar setting. Okay. So let me show you what that. So this is the inner bar. So this is my old one. So it has the one through ten. Okay. So this one happened to set at number six right now. And then you can actually adjust to number four, three two okay so the lower number means finer so if you ran out of option on the top now it's time to adjust the inner bar it's not going to hurt your machine give you a finer setting jamin just wanted to say a reminder to check the label of the oat milk most say consume seven to ten to ten days after opening but they last a long time yeah so uh, uh, jamin just mentioned to me that mentioned to us that you know even the labor say between you know seven to ten days once you open the uh not the you know the carton and it should last even longer so okay but make sure people uh, taste it okay if it's sour just throw it away so you know trust your taste okay so dane asked me about my favorite tea yes uh I do have some tea from Chinatown, so yeah, definitely. Because I love like green tea, and that's one of my, jasmine and green tea is one of my favorites, so. A viewer asked, can you make a video on how does tamping pressure affect channeling? So uh, one of my viewers asked me the tamping pressure effects on channeling. I think I, I don't think I have that video, so yeah, you know what, let's do that at some point, okay? Definitely. Okay, so you're asking me which, okay, which method first? Are you going to brew the coffee first, after the froth, or froth or milk? Uh, personally, I like, uh, I like to brew the coffee first, okay, and then steam the milk. Here's the reason why. Whenever I steam the milk first, if you don't shake like this, okay, it's going to separate the milk from the in the foam from the milk so I don't like that okay because but again it takes about at least a minute to steam the milk so the fact is I have to you know it's gonna be sitting on my counter for a minute or so so there's no good try both ways okay try into both ways and find out what you like the best again there's no wrong way to do there's no wrong way to make coffee so but I, I prefer shot, uh, pull the shot first and then steam the milk that's my method. 
you know, Mike in San Diego mm -hmm. had his rocket damaged, so yeah. he had to send back. He finally got it on Wednesday, so he's been making coffee and said it's so much better. So um, my steaming than the Gaga coffee. Sure. So shout out to Mike. He just got his uh, apartmento, the rockets. Mm -hmm. So Mike, you know, I, I love I love to have you on my Instagram live as well. Okay. I know, Dane, I'm, I'm still looking for your, uh, our live session too, so it'd be fun. I know you have the Pro, Brista Pro, so. Mike said he has a picture on his Instagram. Okay, so Mike has a picture of his apartmento as well. And let's um, see. And have you done a video on different ratios such as one to two versus making a one ounce? One of my viewers asked me, have I, have I made a video on different ratios? Yes, I think I did a video like a couple of days ago as well. Check out that video. Uh, that's pretty good. And there I have, I have other videos too. So make sure to subscribe to my channel. I have, I'm almost 500 videos on my channel. So pretty much all relate to this motion right here, Brista Express. And so on uh, Rancho Serbia. So yeah, make sure to check it out. If you guys are bored, Nothing else to do, check out my videos. I got plenty of videos that, you know, help you sleep. And then is Arabaca, is that a single origin coffee? Arabaca is, is that a single origin coffee? I think that's the kind of, so they got the Arabaca and what else? They got uh, Robusta, I think. So they are kind of two different, uh, I'm not a coffee expert, okay? There are two different type of coffee beans and then come from, actually single origin means single origin, like Ethiopia or Costa Rica or what, Sumatra is a single origin as well. And then the blend, if you go to a coffee shop, whenever you order coffee, most coffee shops have their own blend. So they mix, okay? They mix with Ethiopia, with Colombia. So, so single origin means coming from one reason, okay? So, Personally, I love single origin. It has a really fantastic flavor. So that's what we're going to do tomorrow morning. Uh, tomorrow morning, uh, we're gonna, I'm going to try out the single origin. Um, Dane said he in the next couple of days, um, he'll go live. Okay, so Dane... He's going to set up his tripod. Yeah. And Mike said yes. Okay, so I'm, gonna, I'm waiting for Dane and Mike. They can join us on my Instagram. It'd be fun. It'd be fun to do. Okay, and then I think I'm gonna take one more question and then I'm gonna cut is it there. Is there a shower screen upgrade available for the Barista? Someone asked me, is there a shower screen upgrade for Barista Express? No, not yet, okay? I know if you own a dual boiler, they have the upgraded version of a shower screen, but not for this one, not now, because not yet, not yet. I wish they do. EV, but again, I mean, there's no upgradable filter basket either. I mean, so this is it from Bravo, but the one I got from China, you know, they're similar to this, but that's not a kind of, they're not a precision like VST or IMS filter baskets. So there's no upgradable upgrade yet. I, I, I wish they do though. I, I wish they do. Okay, so I think we are good. Just make sure to follow me on Instagram as well. I have a lot of fun videos there, kind of behind the scene. And also, I've been doing some cooking too, so they're a lot of fun. And I'm gonna see you guys tomorrow morning. So we're gonna do, I'm gonna unbox the, the fragile sign on it tomorrow morning. And then we're gonna try out the different beans tomorrow morning as well. So we're gonna try out the single origin. So uh, let's find out what the difference is. All right, see you. When, when are you going? Okay, so tomorrow morning, okay, so tomorrow morning, I'm not going, my YouTube live around eight o'clock, okay? So back to regular schedule, Saturday and Sunday for that, my YouTube live. And the Instagram live, uh, pretty much whenever, okay? So I, tomorrow morning? Uh, Dane and Mike, uh, if you guys are interested, okay, tomorrow morning or Sunday, just uh, message me on Instagram. And we can set the uh, time and then we can go right after our YouTube live. And uh, it'll be fun. All right. See you tomorrow morning.